Imagine you in the bathroom, bro. You think everything's sweet. You in there handling your business. Got your whole wiener in your hand, bro. The next thing you know, you hear the scuffle of big black men. And I'm not going to lie. That's exactly how it would be in prison. I mean, you in there, got your back to the men. You don't know what is about to happen. And neither did my guy Bones. Bro was in the bathroom trying to let his little whistle loose. But here comes Kimbo Slice and his goons walking in trying to reenact what my boy ASAP Rocky was talking about with casting over. Man, they was in the bathroom slipping on something. Little did they know that my man Bones was not to be messed with. They call this man Bones because, well, that's what his mom named him. But it's also because he'll break some motherfucking bones. Bro, Kimbo walked in there like he was about to be one of them trash ass street fights that he be having with the shitty ass cameras. Bro, it is not about to be that. Because my man Michael Jaha White <laughs> is really elite with them hands. Bro, Kimbo got his ass beat Damn. so much in this scene that I went and watched a behind the scenes video that was on YouTube. And Michael Jaha White taught Kimbo Slice how to throw a jab. Bro, how you get your ass beat in fiction and in real life, bro? You couldn't even hit his hand with your jab. Bro, you getting your ass beat by the nigga that taught you. I mean, it is what it is. So here come Big Bad Kimbo trying to blow bro house down. Hey, little nigga, I heard you want trying to click up. That's not how shit going here, man. Either you gonna get down or you gonna lay down. On some state property shit, but I'm not Beanie Siegel. Oh, I know you not Beanie Siegel, motherfucker. Beanie Siegel not balling at the top. W what the fuck you want, Dr. Phyllis? Y'all hear this motherfucker? Oh. So Kimbo get to fighting this dude and instantly Michael Jaha White get the clicky. Mixing niggas. Bro, you don't want to fight nobody that's in there with Timberlands on, bro. Bro was in prison with Tim's on, kicking niggas in their face. Not the Yadas. Now your mouth tastes like New York City because he put a goddamn Timberland tree in it. Little did Kimbo know that this was going to be the start of a long and fruitful relationship of him getting his ass beat and leaving Bones alone. Man, my guy Bones told them to get the fuck out. I mean, he gave him a warning. He even gave him a countdown. Bro, if you outnumbering somebody in a small enclosed area and they start counting down, just go. Please leave the room. Bro took the shank that Kimbo had, stabbed him dead in his shoulder, had him on the ground holding his shit. Then took a wet shirt out of the sink, slapped this nigga in the face, and then hit these two dudes with the... Now, you know this ass whooping was elite, bro. Like I said, he be running around with Timberlands on. However, I made a slight mistake. In this scene in the prison, he had house slippers on. So their mouth didn't taste like New York City. It tasted like bathroom semen and shit because this nigga was walking in a bathroom with wet ass slippers on. Now you got sewer all in your mouth because you want it to be tough. So after my man Bones got out of prison, he realized that he needed somewhere to lay his head down. So we ended up going to this little like halfway apartment John. It's just little bad bitch that worked there. God damn. Boy, you know she got that motherfucking wagon, boy. You can tell by the shape. When you look at a beautiful black woman and you see they top half shaped a certain way, like this, you know that they bottom half is jiggling. Ass moving like a goddamn ass moving like a container of jello. I'm talking about, I want to skydive in that shit like a bounce house. All right, I'm down bad. Your boy Sin is the cultist leader of the Freaky Frogs. My fault. But anyways, this dude Bo shows up to this little fight club event. And oh, wait a minute, is, is that Jin? The battle rapper? Bro, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know who this Asian dude is. I feel like I done seen him in mad stuff. But for some reason, I can't put my finger on it. But anyways, we got Geechee Gotti Vert. All right, my fault. So Jen, I'm gonna just call him Jen because he look like that guy is the host of this fight club. And now we got this cowboy ass dude, bro, out here looking like Stone Cold Steve Austin from Wish. And he wants to fight Hammer. Now, first off, pause on that name. Calling a grown man Hammer is insane. But can we take a second to look at the uh, big Brutus beefcake? Pause again. This motherfucker is big as shit. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I've seen this guy somewhere too. I think he's some sort of bodybuilder or something. I'm not sure. Matter of fact, I think he was on the longest yard, bro. He's the one that talks all dopey as shit. Bro talking like he got some sort of like a mental disability or something. He laughing and shit, bro. Looking like, uh, bro looking like the big nigga Ben Rames. Bro looking like goddamn the big nigga from Green Mile. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this dude hammer put the hammer down on this white dude, bro. I mean, disrespectfully brutalized him. Cowboy over there talking about he not afraid. But motherfucker, you think you Eminem? I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to take a stand. To take a stand. God damn. This motherfucker was beating the shit out of you, boy. Bro, he was putting straight beats on your ass, bro. I mean, hammer fist, bro. He was smacking him with both fists. <laughs> he was smacking him like how gorillas be doing people, bro. This was disrespectful. It was so bad that the little Asian nigga had to break the fight up. Oh, hammer's enough. It's enough. No, it ain't enough, nigga. It ain't enough till I say so. Bro is out here looking like nigga hawk. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I, I, respectfully, I'm not fighting nobody that big, bro. 
He's the type of big that you gotta like shoot him in vital spots. If you shoot him anywhere in his torso, upper pectoral, the thighs, unless you hit a major artery, bro, he's eating that, bro. I mean, yummy! He's swallowing that whole. Yo, that was. Hey, yo! Anyways, the Asian dude went over and paid James. Now, this dude, James, right here, this sophisticated ass nigga, this goddamn Mr. Curly's ass suit wearing ass nigga. Bro, he got the goddamn. Now, I'll put a lot of things over a bitch. A pair of fresh gators? Absolutely. A turkey sandwich with just tomato? You damn right. But I never put the homies over a hoe. Bro, this motherfucker dressing like Cat Williams right now. Fancy ass suit. I'm gonna start calling him Jiminy Cricket. I ain't gonna lie. But anyways, this dude James. But anyway, this dude James is very important. We'll get to that in a second. But for, for now, we gotta talk about how my man Bones done snuck in this Asian dude car. Look, surprise, nigga. Oh, what the fuck? What you doing in my car, man? Man, I wanna fight, man. Man. You need to fight the, the, the germs and bacteria in your mouth. Your, your breath hot as shit. I think you just started talking, man. The, the hairs on the back of my neck started melting, nigga. Got a goddamn skin rash on my shit now. Man, shut your ass up and take this money. So we got Jimmy Choo. I mean, I, this motherfucker, he's setting a fight up for Bones. And we also got this awkward ass moment where I feel like Bones either, I don't know, either he knows Angela, likes Angela. I don't even know for real. Something, my nigga. I, respectfully, but like, it, 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 it's something going on. This dude, James, felt the need to put his tongue in Angela's mouth on some freak shit. I guess he might be the cultist of the freaky frogs, not me. I ain't gonna lie. Well, I guess both of us can be. Is your boy saying he freaked out? <laughs> Respectfully. But anyways, the whole reason why uh, Angela, James, and Bones have this weird-ass moment will be revealed in due time. But for now, we can talk about Angela and how she's a fucking drug addict. First scene we see with this bitch outside of putting her tongue in a nigga mouth and she's shooting up shit. I, I got scrambled coke and smack for smoking. Uh, I'm just saying, bro, this she doing all types of drugs, bro. And when you shooting up, you got the little tinfoil next to it. You know she on that dog food, bro. Respectfully, I'm not talking about Petco, man. I, I'm just saying. So as James is dealing with this crack addict Angela, he gets a call from the head honcho. A white man. Yeah, during Black History Month, I've been trying to make videos on, you know, black icons and, you know, Killmonger, you know, Blood and Bones, but Boondocks. You know, I want to do like maybe a training day video. But for some reason, in all these goddamn, goddamn movies, there's a white man at top. I'm, I'm just saying, bro, I, I, there's something going on, bro. I'm just saying. Might got to do a movie. On, might got to do Soul Plane or something. All right, my fault. So he makes James go and do all his dirty work, basically. So he had Jane show up to these white folks house, bro. And this scene was kind of brutal because he has them in here to assassinate these guys. But before that happened, this man James had them put on this goddamn rock music. And they're singing fucking white folk songs and shit. Wake me up, wake me up inside. Wake me up inside, baby. No, literally save me, nigga. I'm about to get shot. This motherfucker got smoked. Bro, he started beating the brakes off of this white dude in front of his little wife. Had another Asian grab up an Asian. Come on, man. Asian on Asian crime? I'm just saying. This dude Hammer just sitting there eating, just watching like. Man, it's just a regular Tuesday, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Just Shit is out of pocket, I ain't gonna lie. Now that we've established that James is insane and he's back at the crib talking to Angela and calling her an addict, let's see what my man Bones is up to. And uh, would you look at that? Bones is fighting 18 Hispanics. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. You would have thought Bones was a member of ICE, bro. The way that he was doing these Hispanics, I'm gonna keep it all the way real. Because <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, it kind of makes sense, though, when you think about it, bro. They gave him the opportunity to keep running up a bag. But basically, Bones beat the shit out of the first dude. And then he was like, man, double or nothing. And he kept doing it over and over and over again. Ain't gonna lie, look at this big ass nigga, bro. So there they go, squaring up. I ain't gonna lie, straight nigga shit. You know they want some nigga shit. My man Bones pulled his pants up. He is not playing with him. Straight, clean joints. I mean, we, I mean, we, boom. Hit him with the right hook. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Had a Hispanic nigga laying on the ground stinking, bro. Blood coming out of his mouth and everything. Man, clean him up, kind of respectfully. And we got Poppy Chulo, bro. He talking about double or nothing. That's a bet. That's a bet. Bro, where is your fucking sleeves at? Why you got cut off sleeves? What the fuck? Respectfully, get a stylist, my guy. Walking outside with no sleeves on and shit, bro. On some straight Hispanic shit, bro. That's that Chulo shit. I ain't gonna lie. Poppy Chulo. Poppy Bubano. Cubano. You me? <laughs> Motherfucker got the goddamn V-neck open and shit. So here this dude go. Poppy Chulo trying to set the bed up. Asian man mad as shit. I ain't say that was a bed. I ain't say that was a bed. Till he saw that goddamn blick. Bro showed him the blick on his waist. 
and everything changed. Motherfucker was like, all right, man, fuck it, man. Double or nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I thought that's what he was doing in the first place. So, bro, they run up the bones, man. He get the fucking him up. He hit the second dude with some crazy shit. Why did he hit this dude with the goddamn lumberjack flannel on like this? Huh? Twist, weave, judo flip, arm bar. Broke that nigga arm, bro. God damn. I know his arm don't work no more, bro. That was his beat me hand, too. I ain't gonna lie. You ask it how I knew that, and I have no answer. Pause. But anyways, they send their next uh, squadron of guys up, and huh? Tossed him. Kicked him in his stomach, bro. And that nigga got IBS now. Oh, my God. The sweep. With the split, bro, I'm not fighting no grown man with goddamn a black tank top, some Timberlands and jeans on, bro. It's not happening. I know nigga built like that. Nah, damn. Well, he got that 18 years of slave body, huh? Okay, respectfully. So at this point, he's sending everybody he got, bro. And this nigga Bones is just running through him on some Power Ranger shit, bro. It was four dudes. He ran up. Doop, 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 doop. With the four piece joint, bro. Then he walks up to bro. Bro got the gun. Scrap, grab it. Smack him in the face. Then he grabbed what seems to be his crotch, which is mad pause. I'm not gonna lie, that's AO. I mean, at least he got a, you know, a number from this white shorty and all that, but yo, why you grab that man pants like that? I, I, I'm, I'm just saying, bro, respectfully. So now my man, you feel me? He running through everybody, bro. He fought a white dude. They was on the ground on some like jujitsu shit. He tapped him out. And we finally hear where we're gonna see my man Bones versus Hammer. And I'm not gonna lie, James was on some straight hating shit. Had my little Asian dude, the host, introduce Bones on some host shit. You remember in the beginning I said they called him Bones because that's what his mom named him? Well, I was referencing the movie, you feel me? Because that's what he made the little Asian dude say about Bones when he was introducing him. So the whole crowd started booing him and shit, you know, like on, on some like, on some goddamn Kurt Angle. And, you suck. Damn. You suck. Damn. Yeah, you feel me? Like, you know how they used to do him? Yeah. That's how they was doing my nigga Michael John White right here, boy. I ain't gonna lie. But he did this dude hammer dirty. Walked him down, bro, like a dog. The fight started. He walks up. A wee body shot. Jab. He just was walking him down, hitting him with, with precision accuracy. Mickey, 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 Mickey. He was tearing him a body down, bro. Did straight construction work on this nigga, man. Demolition style, bro. We had this dude looking terrible. Finished him off with the kick. Need this shit and everything, bro. When he kicked him, this big ass nigga fell on the ground. You just hear a goddamn head hit the concrete and thudded. Punished his ass, bro. Which led to James inviting low Asian dude and Bones over to his house for a little after party. But they end up going to the little function and all that. And this is where we learn that James has been trying to find a really good fighter like Bones so he can get him, basically shut this big ass fight up with the head honcho that's been holding, you know, everything over his head, the whole goddamn movie. So he can get Bones to fight this MMA fighter that, that the white dude represents. So he can take white bro money, and you know get a little power too you feel me and obviously bones goes with it because he has a plan and this is where we learn that my man bones in fact knows angela well he knows of angela see bones was in prison with angela's ex that got murdered in prison see james is the reason why her ex got all killed and shit and then because he basically wanted angela now angela and that dude got a kid and all types of shit but angela's on drugs well, Bones made a promise that he would look after her, make sure she got straight, get her and her daughter, and get her and their son, and get her and their son back together. I know that was a crazy twist, y'all. Y'all wasn't expecting that. Angela, oh my God, Bones knew Angela the entire time. It's so fucking obvious, because it is. I'm not gonna lie, like if you didn't see that, and you're kinda just, you know, a fucking idiot, I, I, I don't know. So he takes Angela, agrees to this fight with the MMA guy, and goes and takes her to a rehab, which, you know, never works out in real life, bro. I mean, I'm not gonna say never, never say never, you know, some, some Justin Bieber shit, but like, I feel like a lot of times AA and, and, and rehabs and all that stuff don't be working, man. You know what I'm saying? As somebody that is addicted to scramble coke and smell, I'm not gonna lie, but he ends up taking her there. And then this nigga, James, got the audacity. And I ain't talking about that shitty ass free dog that people be using to record audio to show up to this nigga crib at the apartment, threaten him because he ain't show up for this fight. Motherfucker Bones was like, man, I ain't doing that shit. So he pulled his cane blade out. Man, Bones take it, throw it on the ground, get the whoop in his ass. So he back up, pull the strap out, put it to the little black girl. You feel me? That's in there that he Bones be fucking with head. Oh, so you're not going to do the fight, nigga? I will blow her fucking lace front everywhere. I will put her brains on the wall, nigga. I will make her think for herself. Oh, man. So Jane said, though, you know, fight up with the MMA guy. And Bones obviously reluctantly agrees, bro. So Bones shows up. 
and he's ready to fight. You know what I'm saying? He got a plan of his own. So we show up to fight this little dude, and I'm not gonna lie, this fight was the coldest fight in the movie, in my opinion. Because this nigga Bones and this white dude, they was going at it, bro. Respectfully, I'm not gonna lie. So here they go, bro. First of uh, all, white dude show up in his goddamn suit like he James Bond. They, you know what I'm saying? They square up to each other, but it's a little different. You know what I'm saying? They kind of like testing each other's reflexes and shit like that. I'm not gonna lie. Mm, he throw a jab, throw a jab back. Okay, all right. So you cold? Okay, nigga. Hey, nigga. You know I ain't really saying nigga because I'm white, but okay, let's, let's get it. So here we go. We got James Bond versus Bones, bro. They testing each other out with their kicks, and it's Bones. I ain't gonna lie, Bones, he need to get new clothes, bro. He showed up in this fucking heavy, goddamn saggy ass thermal. Like, dude, this a thermal, bro? Oh, I got a thermal on, bro? With the fucking khakis, bro? Dressing like he about to go to private school? So, white dude twist him, grab his arm. Bones twist him. Now, white dude put him in submission. Ha! Huh? Twist his dumb ass over, but white dude hit a cartwheel, bro. Pull this little shit down and all that. Yo, he got all the little rich dudes watching. Like, come on, man. I don't put money on you, boy. So here we go, bro. They squaring up again, bro. We got bones with these fat ass khakis. He throw a spin kick. Huh? Weave. Bro, throw a spin kick back. A double joint. Ha <laughs> like, all right, nigga. What's up, nigga? What's up, nigga? Kick. Oh, spin me with the elbow? Come in with the Superman. Oh, spin. Okay, they grab each other. They grabbing each other. What they, what they about to do? He oh, swim on the ground. Put him in the armbar. Oh, shit. What you about to do, Bones? He got you in the goddamn armbar now. Oh, Bones kick his dumb ass. Boom! <laughs> oh, okay. So y'all both going to sit up. Do the little joint where y'all bounce up off the ground and shit. Okay, y'all clean. Damn, hold on. He coming in. Oh, he's... Oh, shit. Damn. He hit this man, Bones, with a three-piece. Mickey, Mickey, spinner, Rooney kick, boy. You think you Booker T? All right, hold on. He take his little jacket off. Now they... Oh, what's up? What's up, nigga? Okay, you fast. What's up, nigga? Okay. Ooh, caught his ass. Right through, sorry. All right, you called me. You call me. Ooh, call me again. All right, nigga. I ain't gonna lie. You call me twice now. Hold on. So here we go, bro. Oh, yeah, huh, huh. Ooh, yeah that nigga with a three piece kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Michael Jai. Oh, he's so damn. Motherfucking. Boy, that shit was so clean, boy. I got damn stuttered, nigga. He tripped this dude. Had him fall on his back. White dude. Oh, my God. He come over with a spin kick. Oui. White dude dies. Okay. All right, hold on. Ooh, he coming again. With the favors, then the second one. Damn. White dude, get up. All right, what's up, nigga? Hold on, I'm a little woozy now. I'm a little woozy now. This dude, Michael Jahai White, walking me down at this point, bro. He know. He <laughs> right where he want him, bro. He not cold enough, bro. Oh, my God. Call his ass with the left. Oh, my God. Right how roundhouse kick. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The left. Damn, boy. Oh, my God. Uppercut. Oh, with the spin kick. Damn. He was about to make this nigga tap out, bro, but he submitted. His plan was to make... Lil James bitch ass look bad and lose his fight, you know what I'm saying? But you know, I, I would have done that too, you feel me? Because fuck James. So because he submit this motherfucker, James is tight, bro. He mad as a bitch. Oh, you gonna fuck my motherfucker back up, bitch ass nigga? So he pull a sword out. All right, yo, these niggas on some medieval shit. They throw him a sword too, bro. Got a falchion? What the fuck is that? Bro, he got goddamn feathers on the head. Oh, shit. This dude hitting all types of twirls with that John. All right, what's up then? What's up then, my guy? So here they go. They about to sword fight on some Kill Bill shit. I'm not gonna lie. Did he throw the sword down? He used the sheath of the sword. I ain't gonna lie, he was punishing this nigga with that bitch, boy. I don't know why this dude James was sitting up here trying to fight and shit. Old time, he about to beat this nigga James' ass. The cops show up. Like a cop call me in the phone in the... Well, I'm not gonna lie, bro. The cops showed up. This motherfucker James talking about, if I go down, you go down with me. White dude said, boy, I am white. You are a nigga. Next thing you know, we never heard from James again, bro. But Angela did get to meet up with her son. And my man, Michael Jaha, I mean, Bones, he walked off into the sunset. Left us with a goddamn Genghis Khan quote. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Bro, walking off and shit, man. Walking off into the sun and shit, bro. Fucking, who you, John Wayne, nigga? I'm gonna hop off this nigga, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. bro walking to the sunset ass, man. Well, I'm not gonna lie. Blood and Bones is a true hood classic, bro. You know what I'm saying? If y'all would like to watch Blood and Bones, I, I watched it on Netflix, but... You know what I'm saying? It's on website that you can watch it on. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If you, you know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. You feel me? Yo, but make sure that y'all comment down below because this Schlix channel is going to be all about, you know what I'm saying, hood cinema. Whether that's hands, whether that's, you know what I'm saying, uh, on some just, you know what I'm saying, street action shit. And if y'all want a movie, y'all want to, if y'all want me to talk about goddamn some hood shit, Boys in the Hood, Snow on the Bluff. You know what I'm saying? Paid and Fool. Or if y'all want me to talk about straight hands, Kill Bill. You know what I'm saying? Taking a a anything for real. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you comment down below and let me know. And run the likes up on this, man. If y'all want, you got them, you got them, got them. Y'all want to kill monger video, man? I need this shit at least, at least 1,000 likes, man. Give me 1,000 likes. I'll give y'all the kill monger bit, man.
And I got it in the cut, man, like a band-aid. Peace.